Hi, today's guitar book review is on this one. It's called The Guitar Practice Workbook by James Shipway. It's part of the No Ball Guitar series. So I've, I've actually reviewed a couple of his other books from this series, which you may have seen. I think I've done three so far. Uh, and I really like them, especially his first theory book is, is really good. I highly recommend that one. Uh, this one here is it's not quite so essential for a guitarist to have, I don't think. I mean, it's, it's basically uh, a load of blank pages or a blank tab and core box pages like this. There's a lot of that in there and it's, it's partly what this book is for, mostly what this book's for, I think, is, is, is just for you to fill in your own things. So that's quite useful from that point of view. Uh, and it's for, it gives you tips on what kind of things you might want to put in here. So you might discover a new chord that you want to remember, so you just need to put it in one of the chord boxes. Um, there are lots of other books that have blank chord boxes and blank tab in as well, but the tips are quite good in here. And then the, the second half of the book is just general playing tips and a bit of theory. Uh, there's a lot of plugging of his other books in here, which I suppose is, isn't necessarily a bad thing. As I said, the, the theory books are really good and the bar chord book's very good. He mentions that a few times in here. If you didn't know before getting this that, that he's written some other books, you definitely would by the time you got to the end of this. Um, there's quite a few mentions of his other books. Uh, there's a thing about learning the notes on the fingerboard, which is pretty good. Some uh, chords which can transform your music, which is in here. Just gives you some interesting chord types like sus chords and things. Um, so my, my sort of thoughts on it really are that it, it's a good book to have if you've got um, other books on theory and other books on playing, especially by this guy because it, it, it seems really good. Um, then it's quite a good one to have because of the blank tab and the blank chord boxes but you could probably just get any book with blank tab and chord boxes in and the tips and the theory and everything else that's in here is really um, similar to what's in his other books but just nowhere near as thorough nowhere near as good it's obviously a much shorter section it's only part of this book where it's just dedicated whole books to things like bar chord playing so it's not one I'd highly recommend really, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, um, but as a theory book there's not enough in here, as a core book there's not enough in here. Um, so I think I, I would say that anyone getting this book or looking to get this book, get it because it's quite nicely laid out with the blank tab and the core boxes and things and all the tips on practicing and the tips on playing, they're just a bonus really, um, there's other books which are better in particular, the, the ones I've seen anyway, the, the Noble Guitar Theory is a really good one. So it's a bit of a mixed one, that. Um, I, I agreed with most of what's in here, most of the tips he mentions. There's one or two I didn't, which is unusual for his books. Uh, but generally, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but not one that I say, yeah, you need to rush out and buy. Okay, thanks.